Carlos da Vinci. <risos> What's good, YouTube? Just coming back with a real quick video. I need to speak on something real quick. I'm gonna put the comment up on the um, <laughs> the comment up on the uh, screens in the beginning half. So hopefully, you know, um, nobody gets truly offended. But I'm gonna read the comment real quick, right? And I'm gonna explain something before I get into this low board Tuesday, right? And I'm gonna try to explain it in the most respectable way because people still just don't get it. All right, here was a comment. Bro, local LTL drivers are pulling six figures and home every day and off weekends. I work for FedEx Freight, easy, easy work. 2K isn't good after maintenance, breakdown, truck payment, downtime. You end up uh, making less than a company driver with 10 times the liability okay let me address that comment okay there's a difference from what you're doing and i'm doing the two thousand dollars is on four loads running less than 32 hours in one physical week there are ltl drivers who work 14 to 16 days there's a reason they have an exemption they get to work 16 hours in one day. They're working a minimum of 12 hours a day, right? So as a FedEx driver, you're doing the same. So you're telling me that, yes, you're making more weekly, let's say about, not, about extra $800, but you're working 60 hours a week, 70 hours a week, close to 70 hours a week. Um, and that's not even including your time that you're off duty because you know you guys go off duty on everything that you do. So you're working more than 70 hours a week just to go home every day, which you're working what 14 hours a day. We're gonna say 14. You at least have at least 30 minutes to 45 to an hour there and back to your house. So that's two hours a day. So what we're up to 16 hours a day. And then you, let's say you sleep for six to eight hours. There's your 24 hours. What the f are you doing home? What are you doing that's so what's so great about you being home and spending one to two hours with your family a day? There's nothing special about it, okay? Don't make it seem like you going home every day is a luxury when it's really not a luxury because you're not spending any quality time at home with your family, okay? Then they say they get the weekends off. You get the weekends off. Nobody's disputing that. Okay? And that's totally fine for your 34-hour reset. But when it's time to come back, you're obligated to come back. You're required to come back. There's a difference. I don't have to come back out and work if I don't want to. And still make that money if I wanted to take four days off, three days off, five days off. I could choose to run how I want to run. You have a boss that tells you where to go, what to do, how to do it, how fast to do it, right? You also, if you piss that boss off, guess what he can do? Cut your miles. I'm not trying to shit on LTL or local drivers, but don't come in the comment section saying that and don't know what you're talking about, okay? There's a difference. You might look at it as is your home every day, but are you really home every day? No. So... Leave those little snide, offbeat comments to yourself because you really played yourself at the end of the day. Because to me, you're not home if you're not fully at home. When I'm about to go home tomorrow, I go home tomorrow, and guess what? I'm not coming out till Sunday. I ain't got nobody to check in with. I don't, and I still made close to what you made in less time. I'm working two days this week. It ain't much money, but. It's still, I have the options when I want to work. You don't. So, as you can see, it's about to be shift change. So, let me go ahead and get this video finished for you guys. Uh, somebody wanted me to do Chicago. Um, what's today? The, uh, today is the 29th. Or do the 29th through the 6th. But that was just my little, um, my little uh, <laughs> rant. I just hate when, you know, 
company drivers always trying to compare themselves to what everybody else does and it's not even close it's not it's not close you might make more money in a sense you know um but you're working 14 to 16 hours a day any owner operator uh sorry i'm going too fast y'all any operator will tell you you're you the less the money you can make and you can do it with less time is way better i'm going back up everybody uh i want to let everybody know y'all should be proud of me today y'all I'm in Wisconsin today. Y'all should be proud of me. I stepped out of Chicago. All right, let me quit lying to you guys. I, I delivered to Illinois, but I had to go pick up in Wisconsin. So you guys should be actually kind of proud of me, y'all. This is a fire low fire, right? Y'all probably saying, oh, what's so fire about it? For one, it picks up and can deliver today. Plain and simple, 280 miles for about $800. That's fire. That's a fire load, I would take it. Hands down, that's a straight through load to Evansville, Indiana. Now you might not find no parking down there, but but you could go find, you know, you could go right back up to Frito Lay or somewhere around that area and uh find a load. Look at these loads going. Oh, that ain't um uh I mean if you wanted to find some short hop type stuff, yeah, that'd be okay. Um I actually did this load. This is going to Walmart, but it's heavy, I think. Yeah, this one's going to Walmart. It's not that bad. It's only 380 miles, actually. Uh, this, those miles are kind of kind of close. They got a, quite a few of these. Um, yeah. Um, somebody said, bro, don't. Uh, I was thinking about getting outside my zones, and, you know, and the people were like, nah, don't do that. Yeah, that ain't worth it. Um, but yeah, piston ain't uh, that piston load ain't too terrible. It's over three dollars a mile or close to. Yeah, it's over three, but how heavy is it? See, so normally when you see thirty-four five, that's usually either right at like thirty thousand or less. Hmm. Where's that picking up again at? Milwaukee. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just did this load. This load is uh, very, very light. As you can see, this is where I'm at, y'all. I'm, I'm that blue dot. I'm in Wisconsin. I just picked up from this one last time going home, right? Um, all right, well, it ain't going to show me because the internet is trash here. Um, Illinois ain't looking too bad for next week. It's looking kind of, uh, uh. Now, like, this is a spot market load, right? Or the highway load board um, load. Because uh, it's a live load on both ends. Uh, I never even... I, I know where Franklin, Ohio is, but... That's a... Um, I'm going to say that's a... Uh, a uh, so-called premium load right there. Now, the bad thing about doing this, this would be real tight. It depends on, um, for one, it would depend on how long it takes them to load you to do this, right? Because this, you have to drive this straight through. It's five and a half hours, but, and it's heavy uh, picking up a North War. I'm almost certain that's, that's probably Nestle, but I'm not for sure. Um, but you got to be there by 3 a.m. And it depends on how quickly they load you, to be honest. Uh, Greenfield is usually um, Sam's Club. So this is a little bit over $4 a mile. If you're into it. Yeah, it's like 4 bucks a mile. Um, now, the bad thing about that is it delivers at 11.55 p.m. Two days from now. So who would really do that, right? Not me. Um... Yeah, I wouldn't be doing that. I don't remember if I told you guys, but they sent out the matches for us to try to come out to Frito Lay. Uh, to start, not come out to Frito Lay, to go down to Laredo. I seen the Laredo low right there. That's the reason I said that. My bad. Not to come out. Um, that's not too bad. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my 
next place that I would pick up freight from, and that was only a hundred miles. So, um, usually with Frankfurt, I do do 150 miles because I didn't have no request. That Chicago was a request, but you guys know that's what I run. So, I'm trying to make this kind of short because it's a Tuesday. I just put out a video yesterday. And um, so I'm trying to make this short. I know you guys don't really like listening to me uh, ramble. Um, see, Indiana is somewhat okay for me if I'm just trying to get back in my market. Like, yeah, it's four bucks. But, you know, that's just diesel to get up there to where I want to go. South Elgin, everybody know that's Wayfair. If you got a load that's, you know, going through that area. Like, oh, if you got, like, if I was coming from Ohio and I delivered somewhere and I could just dead head to go pick this up, I will pick it. I would do that. That'd be one of the lows I would do. Obviously, we get back in the Chicago area. I've never been to Michigan so far, being with JB Hunt. Logan, Ohio, Geneva, Indiana. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. We just looked at the uh, Crest Hill. Um, Brownsburg is by in in Evansville as well. Yeah, Muncie. Elgin, West Chicago. Now, I'm not sure if anybody would actually do these type of runs going down to Texas. I'm not a big fan of Texas right now, but I don't know. White's Town to Akron, that's Frito Lay. You know, that's what I dig. I do that all day long. Um,. You know, it was an uh, individual on Facebook who was said they got stuck in Arkansas for five days. How do you get, how do you pre-plan your week just to get stuck for five days? I, I, I think people write things just to hear themselves talk because you make yourself look crazy. There's no way you should be booking loads and not knowing what's coming out the state behind you. There's just no way. Like, there's no way to book a load on Monday and I, 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 the math ain't adding up like even if you're booked out let's say the last load was going to Arkansas your last load for the week or whatever you had plenty of days to figure out if loads were coming out before you could have canceled the load like I don't I don't know you know I'm pulling this hands down quickly going home yes sir um, I'm gonna I wish I could sh so and I'm a sh uh, sorry if I'm going a little too fast. Frankly, Kentucky ain't too bad. This one wouldn't be too bad. And yes, the the rates are a little bit up in these areas. Like I always tell people, the Midwest is very good for us. It just is. This one isn't good. This is too some change. That's because it's going up. Like that, that ain't nothing. Uh, Lewis Center, uh, Whiteland. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if I would do that. I know where Lewis Center at is off of 23 in Ohio. Um, 7 a.m. delivery. A lot of these are 7 a.m.s. Westchester. Mm. not looking too bad but it ain't looking the greatest uh, I was gonna book something like this too right one day but it's like I don't know nothing about start draft and it's 44,000 pounds boy that's gonna break my truck I am not on it not on it at all well we already seen these there's just a, uh, close to three bucks yeah <laughs> D 
they want to pay you two dollars and 32 cents to run this load that is just crazy this has to be a yard to a yard there's no way nobody's doing there's no way Uh, Indiana's not looking too crazy. We're going to go look one more place. Um, just because I just want to see. My wife asked me, are you ever uh, thinking about ever going back down to Jacksonville? You ever going to go back down to Florida? You know what my message is? Hell no. Going to Florida? Never. Look at that. 800 miles for a couple dollars. Not even a truth. That's 400 some dollars doing diesel. Oh, there you go, Kathleen. If you feel, you know, it's only two, like 230, 225. Yeah, I know that's Frito Lay. Well, that just knocked me out. Sorry about that. Um, here's something for my Texas people. It ain't paying much buck forty nine or something like that, buck fifty seven. If you wanna get back to Texas. Ooh, Savannah and Monroe. That's going to Home Depot. I think it's going to Home Depot. I'm almost certain it's probably going to Home Depot. We're going to see if it even lets us. Yeah, it's not. The internet is just so terrible where I'm at. Um, I mean, you could get out of Florida. You can definitely get out. What I would do is if it was me, I'd just run some bull stuff like this. Um, it don't pay you much, but it'll pay you to get back to a halfway decent market and you ain't gotta go up all those hills with the heavy stuff. Or, I mean, you could do Tiffin, going straight up. This is paying decent and it's not heavy. Um, it will take you, you will be driving, driving. That pickup one day deliver the next. Oh yeah, you'll be driving, driving, doing that. I guess when you dip into Georgia, it pays. Oh my God, never mind. I'm gonna shut up. God, going to Texas is just sound like it just hurts. This is two bucks a mile, barely. 2,500 pounds, 25,000 pounds, Tampa. Mm. Somebody will take this for sure. You know, and I don't have a problem with looking at these boards uh, for nobody. I always would look at them hands down for you guys. Um, just, you know, sending y'all requests. You know, y'all already know Low Board Friday coming up. So, I'm going to go ahead and get up off here. Um, this was the little Low Board, my little rant for the beginning part of this. I'm sorry if you guys hear the, the um, stuff in the background. Because I have my windows down. It's just too hot not to. So, I do apologize about that. But y'all stay blessed, man. Love y'all.